the peach tree design is quite unique. Now I can recognize a peach tree product from like a mile away. Now I really pay attention to designs these days because while working on the design of my own amp, I realized that it is not easy. Kudos to peach tree for this unique design. Now I have owned a peach tree Ideco, I hope that's how you pronounce it, to hybrid integrated amp for a while and I like it. That is why I reached out to Peachtree, asking them to send me a review unit, something to review, right? Uh, I was expecting something entry level, but turns out Jim at Peachtree has some has seen some of my videos, so he offered instead to send me their latest, baddest, coolest preamp power amp combo, the Peachtree pre DAC and the new GAN 400 GAN 400. I'm just gonna call it GAN 400 power amp. Now, who's gonna say no to that? Well, I guess I would have said no if you know, I wanted to get paid for every video I make, but just like 70% of my videos, I'm not getting a penny for making this video. No affiliate links, nor have they told me I can keep this unit after this video. I wish. The audio file in me really wanted to test this unit because Jim, who probably can sell snow to Eskimos, convinced me that this is the next evolutionary step in the Class D world. It uses GANFET instead of the more common MOSFET. Now, GANFET can turn on and off many times faster than MOSFET, which in turns mean blah blah blah, something about less distortion, and then blah blah blah, less global negative feedback. Look, between you and me, I really don't care about the technology behind it because at the end of the day, it has to sound good. Now, I always said, Man, you can even add a microwave in the chain for all I care. If it sounds good, that is all that matters to me. Now, interestingly, I remember Jim mentioning to me, you know, it was a choice to tune the GAN 400M for better sound than for better measurements. Now, 100% in line with my own philosophy, because the amp I am building, it was built with the optimal measurements in mind. But after I listened to it, I was like, uh, no, we need to tweak this. So 100% on board with Peachtree. Now, you know, I almost did not make a video on this Peachtree combo because I lent it to three of my audio buddies and they came back to me with, it is just okay. I mean, today, just okay is not good enough. I needed to at least have some kind of wow factor for me to consider even make, for me to even consider making a video on it. Now, as you know, I get, I always get a few of my audio buddies involved to help me to evaluate gear because I am a serious believer in equipment matching, synergy, room, and taste. Just because something does not sound good at my place, for example, does not mean it sucks. Now, you know, in my past video, I have no problem letting you know if my friends don't like it because although I don't make negative review videos because that's a choice I made, I do, however, believe if I do make a video, I own you the whole story. So after three of my audio buddies told me it was just okay, I told myself, oh, most likely I'll find it just okay too. And therefore I can't make a video on it because this combo is not cheap and it cannot be just okay. At that time, I have not listened to it seriously yet in my room. So I was mentally prepared to send it back. So what changed? So what changed my mind? The other day, I dropped by my audio buddy, uh, Mr. Jazz, to listen to his system. Now, he just bought a brand new pair of Verity Audio Pacifier anniversary speakers. And those speakers were driven by a pair of Paslam Class A monoblocks. Impressive, but expected, since we're looking at a system that carries an MSRP of over $50,000. Now, the first minute I walked in, Mr. Jazz said, dude, man, this peach tree you lent me last week is amazing. He was more excited to let me listen to the peach tree than his own past lap amps. Now, I listened to it and I was like, oh yeah, this, this is definitely worth a video. So, my audio buddies, today, let me tell you about this peach tree pre dac preamp and the GAN 400 power amp.
Now the Peachtree Pre-DAC is a preamp with a built-in DAC. Interestingly named, right? Pre-DAC, preamp and DAC. Now it comes with two analog inputs which can be configured either as standard input or as a MM phono stage and home theater bypass input. It uses an 8-channel ESS Saber Pro DAC and like most DACs today, you know, it supports 32-bit, 384K and DSD. Now the unit also comes with balance output and a headphone jack. The power amp is called the GAN 400 or GAN 400, I guess GAN 400. It outputs 400 watt in either 4 or 8 ohms according to the website. It can support speakers down to 2.5 ohms. The best part, it only weighs 7 kg, about the weight of 20 cans of coke. Fun fact, did you know one of the health benefits of Class D is hernia free? Alright, alright, I'll stop the dad jokes. Now, both units are assembled in the USA. In English, that means you get to skip the import tariffs, which is perhaps why they are able to keep the price at a reasonable 4,500 USD if you buy both units. Now, I say reasonable because it is all relative to the performance and also the fact that they sell these through dealers, so you can actually go listen to them in a store. Now, obviously, you're most likely going to get better support with a dealer network, network, <laughs> which has to be factored into the price. So let's start with how this combo sounds. Just one word, neutral, clean, and plenty of clarity. Well, actually that's three words. Top end sparkles really well, while not tilting up the treble. Excellent detail and refinement. The mid range is linear all the way down to the bass and is pretty smooth. There is no significant bump in the upper bass. So, some people might find the mid-range a bit on the cool side. I personally think it is neutral, but I can understand why some people will wish there is a bit more meat on the bone. Now, what you do get in return with a linear bass is nuance, speed, and control. It is dynamic when the music calls for it, meaning you will get that punch when you know, it is in the music, but it is not exaggerated. For me, this linear bass is a voicing choice. You choose to voice your bass to be linear to gain better articulation, more accuracy, but less fun. Now, voicing like Wilsonton R8 Tube Integrator Amp is fun because man, they, they exaggerate the bass, but you can't hear the skin of the drum when compared to this peach tree. The reason why I'm spending time on this is because I get a lot of emails and I learn some people love, love that linearity in the bass region, while others prefer that warmer, fatter sound. So that's why my goal is to set the correct expectations for you. Now, this is not one of your like grandpa's old warm sounding amp. The soundstage is airy, stretches slightly beyond the speakers, and has fantastic depth. Instrument separation is A++. So overall, it has a clean, neutral, yet lively, quick detail, fast holographic presentation, 100% the modern sound. You want to hear the pin dropping? This is the combo to get. So let's move on to the negatives. Now when I power up the amp, I can hear a very, very faint electrical pop noise. Not a deal breaker, but it is there. Next, let's talk about my audio buddies who found it just okay. Lowick, number one uses open baffle speakers, and he finds the combo sounded a bit thin. Now, as I mentioned before, the peach tree does not have a bass bump. And as you know, open baffle speakers don't necessarily have the last word in bass. So yeah, I can see why the matching does not work. Second, Mr. Quad tried it on his electrostatic speakers, the Quad 2905, and he felt the presentation was a little bit too soft. He actually preferred it when combining the GAN 400 with another DAC. Now, keep in mind that Quad 2905 is quite picky with amplifiers. That is one lesson I learned. With the Quad 2905, even super expensive $20,000 Class D amp might not necessarily match well with the 2905. Finally, Mr. Vintage felt his older vintage speakers could not bring out the best of this modern Class D amp. Now, he had better luck with other less expensive Class D amp, so I guess a question of matching. So in the interest of transparency, I've shared with you all our experiences. Now let's move on to the positives. The first time I was able to seriously listen to this Peachtree combo 
was at Mr. Jazz's place, and I was with Mr. Kanta that day. Now, it was my first time listening to his new Pacifer speakers, and he played this Chinese song for me. Now, the version I listened to was on, like, from Tidal, but I'll link to the YouTube version in the first comment. Now, I've never heard this song before, and he started by letting me listen to it with the peach tree. Then, he let me listen to it with his Class A Pass Lamp monoblocks. My first comment to him after finished listening to the song with, on the past lap was, man, it got really busy and messy towards the end of the song. He said, yep, exactly his feeling. And that is why he was so impressed with the peach tree. With the peach tree, the background was darker. Instrument separation was more defined. The pacing and the rhythm were superior. Never once did I felt overly assaulted by information towards the end of that song. Every note came in in an orderly fashion. So with that specific song, the past lap on the other hand felt chaotic. I was almost getting annoyed, but you know, to be fair, if I did not listen to the peach tree just before, I may not be as annoyed. Just that the difference was significant and I was in awe what the peach tree can do. Now, where the past lap did better, well, the mid-range was warmer and thicker. Now, all three of us agree that, yeah, we can't tell this is a Class DM. And in Mr. Jazz's system and my system, the peach tree was detailed, yet not fatiguing. Although not warm sounding, it was not lean sounding like in Lowick's system. So, system matching is important. So if you ask me what stands out with this peach tree, even when compared to the other Class D amps, I would say um, the dark background, yeah, the layering in the soundstage, and the ability to handle very complex passages. At my home, I tried the peach tree with my Civiline Sonata. Civiline Sonata is because they're at the back here. Fantastic. Now with the Q Acoustic Concept 500, I thought it was not bad. The Concept 500, one of the characteristics with it is if the matching is good, you get to experience a super speaker. If the matching is just okay, seriously, it sounds just like a normal speaker because its strength lies in the soundstage and not in its ability to like sparkle like Focal speakers. The top end is on the smoother side, so bad matching can make the Concept 500 sound a bit dull. The Peach Tree will add clarity to the Concept 500 and at the same time enhance the strength of these Concept 500, which is a deep sound stage. Interestingly, I really enjoy the vocals with the Peach Tree and the Concept 500. With the Concept 500, the best match I've heard is with the Hego P30 preamp and the Lumen power amp, but, but that combo is $20,000. The Peach Tree is obviously, obviously not at that level, but if you have five grand to spend on an amp combo and you'd like to add a bit more clarity to your Concept 500, you can consider this combo, but do not buy it blind, okay? They have dealers for this. So go listen to it at a dealer. Don't buy it blind, right? So at my place, one of the big questions I had is, how does it compare to my own reference Class D amp, the Class A D200 with the CB800 DAC preamp? Now this combo, had an MSRP of $10,000 in 2015. I was curious, can today's newer technology amp beat yesterday's amp despite costing less than half? After all, Class D, unlike Class A or Class AB, is still evolving. In short, the peach tree yeah, has a darker background, is more transparent, there is more depth in the soundstage, and instrument separation is better. For my taste, this peach tree combo is way better than my Class A combo. Well, you can argue the Class A sounded more analog because it sounded more veil. Now, my audio buddy, Mr. Kanta, told me, man, I should redo the test by mixing the Class A D200 Class D power amp with the Tube Audio Research 17 preamp. It's just like, I like to keep matching brands together when I do A-B tests. You know, putting another preamp might work for the Class A, but it's like breaking up a couple, you know? It's against my OCD audiophile religion to break up matching amps. So, maybe in the future. No, I also uh, compared to my Cambridge 85W and 85C combo. Now that is class XD, 
very close in terms of clarity with the peach tree, but the peach tree sounded a bit more natural. Maybe it's the upsampling of the Cambridge 85C that made it sound more digital, relatively speaking. Now, the Cambridge has a mid-range bump, that bump, okay, that will appeal to some people because it gives that illusion of more body in the mids. However, just like the Yamaha AS2200 integrated amp that I've reviewed, that also have that mid-range bump, sometimes it can be too much of a good thing for some people. So in this case, Cambridge versus Peachtree, um, your choice would depend on whether you prefer that mid-range bump or not. You know, one day I might make a video on this Cambridge amp. You see, I bought the Cambridge 85W amp three years ago, and I sold it because I hated it. Now, recently I came across it once again on the used market, and I asked myself this question. With everything I learned in the last three years, can I get it to sound good? So I bought it. Did I succeed? I will answer that in another video and end this part with a cliffhanger because this video is already too long. So let's wrap up the video now. I think every audio file needs to experience tubes, class AB and class D on his audio journey. Now, as I was listening to this peach tree, I recognized that it can do many things better than my other class AB or tube amps, right? The same song played through different amps will give you different experiences. And listening to music with the peach tree is definitely a worthy experience. Of course, class D is not for everyone. Well, just like class A is not for everyone. However, until you actually get to live with it, it is best not to pass judgment on it. Especially Class D is continuously evolving, and every newer Class D amp I get to try just keeps getting better, right? So this peach tree was able to impress my audio buddy, Mr. Jazz, who owns a Class A monoblock, like the price of a car, to the point that he recommended me to buy this review unit after like this review sample after this review. My point is, if you're shopping for a complete set in this price range, this is an amp to consider. Please don't buy it blind. That is why they're dealers. Go listen and see if this is for you or not. All right, till next time.